Hello, everyone. I am Dion Cook from Avixa, and welcome to Hybrid Room Ready Solutions. Three is better than one. Presented by Carl Harvell, Tim Mackey, Joshua Peterson, and Tyler Cox. This webinar is brought to you by today's sponsor, Yamaha. Before I hand the presentation over to the team, I just need to go over a couple of brief housekeeping items. For those viewing today's webinar live, it qualifies for a half CTS, CTSD, and CTSI RU. Please allow up to seven business days to view those on your transcripts. For any issues, please email my team directly at webinars at avixa.org. This webinar should last approximately 45 to 60 minutes and all attendees have been placed on mute. If you have questions during the presentation, please enter them into the Q&A window only so today's moderators can address them at the end of the webinar. To access the Q&A window, simply move your cursor to the bottom of the live stream video box, locate the Q&A icon and type away. Just please be mindful that there is a separate menu for the chat. You will have access to this recorded webinar at avixa.org forward slash webinars within about five to seven business days. Now to the team, please take it away. All righty. Thank you, Dion. Much appreciated. Hello to everybody in the chat. Thank you for joining us. Tyler Cox here on behalf of Yamaha Unified Communications. Welcome to today's webinar. Um, we are excited to be here. Hybrid room ready solution. Three is better than one. Uh, sometimes that may not uh, pertain to certain things, but with this, it does. Today, I'm joined with Joshua Peterson on behalf of Lenovo, Timothy Mackey on behalf of Yamaha Unified Communications, and Carl Harvell on behalf of Aver. So Yamaha UC, Lenovo, and Aver decided to partner up and put together a hybrid room ready solution. What do hybrid room environments look like these days? It depends on a lot of different things, but with the Lenovo, Yamaha, and Aver, Microsoft certified team solution for a hybrid medium large room, we are here and we are covering you on all bases. So what is part of this bundle? That is the ThinkSmart Control Core Plus controller from Lenovo for room management with Microsoft Teams in, already in place. The Adesia ceiling mic and speaker solution on Yamaha Unified Communications, taking care of that high quality audio. And on behalf of Aver, the CAM 520 Pro 2 camera. So we have a room system and our AV covered, all with easy use. So why use a combined solution? The ease of installation of a small room collaboration solution now available in a medium and large room solution. Why this bundle? Because it's best in class products and it is scalable, it is simple, and there is management for a large room solution. Simplicity, system connects with USB interfaces and automatic configuration does not get much easier than that. Best in class, all devices are the best in their class and performance for medium and large rooms. Extensive management, web and device management with ethernet and applications. Scalability, change is a constant. So having the capability of scaling is big. Bundles that are easy to purchase with QR code, quick installation guides and seamless support. Certified compatible with combined service and support on behalf of Lenovo, Yamaha UC and Aver. We are excited. Now, when you're looking for a full room solution, audio, video, room management system, you name it. What are common audio challenges faced in communication solutions? Static solutions do not adjust to your flexible work style. We are in a flex work environment time and that will be here for a while. So what's the issue? Fixed installed, supporting only one specific use case. Another issue, environments that do not result in good communication experiences. We wanna make sure that the collaboration and communication for both in-person and remote employees is spectacular. Reverberation in the room and loudspeakers that are loud and not, not loud enough, those are issues. And the last one, solutions that are anything but. Equipment that does not work with each other, requiring complicated configuration and setup. We here with this hybrid room ready solution are the opposite of that. Ease of use is the name of the game. So with that, I'm going to jump in here um, and we'll take over talking about the audio portion of this because 
audio is, is I preached for many, many years that the A and AV is as important as the video, if not more important. I know we're getting much more video centric these days, but you cannot forget that clear, crisp, echo free audio is absolutely paramount in these rooms. So the advantage of this bundle is it does include um, the Odysseus solution from Yamaha. And this is a game changing solution that came out about a year ago. It incorporates state of the art, multi dynamic beam forming audio capture. Everything is plug and play and auto configured and auto tuned, very similar to Yamaha's home theater systems. Basically, when you connect all the components to the switch, the switch, by the way, is the only thing you actually plug into a 110 wall outlet. This is a true IP, AV over IP, IT based solution. And as we see in the industry now, with more people being in the IT realm, being responsible for the audio and for these rooms, the back to the original points, having ease of use, a system like this bundle where everything just connects together and auto tunes and auto configures. We utilize Dante, but again, you don't have to be an audio engineer or know a thing about Dante. You plug everything into the switch, you log into the onboard web UI within our processor, and within a few mouse clicks, we auto tune this room just like we do with our home theater systems. We play pink noise throughout the room, cue the room, and essentially after that, you're ready to uh, make your, uh, make your, make your uh, uh, soft conference phone calls. So we'll take a closer look at the components. Again, the, name, the nomenclature is kind of simple, RM or room CG or ceiling grid microphone, the RMCGs. The RMCR processor, which again, to that flexibility beyond this bundle can be expanded and utilized. There are four interfaces in here. It is a very simple GUI to adjust your routing and even flavor on some equalization. The line array speakers that are included in this solution are phenomenal for these conference rooms. I actually have a pair in this 1500 square foot building I'm in. They're a true high performance Yamaha line array. They're powered 30 watts a channel by the PoE Plus switch. And there's two things that really make them applicable for these rooms. One, they're a line array, so they distribute in a very wide horizontal pattern, yet only a 25 degree vertical pattern. So they fill the room horizontally with a nice band of even audio. The second thing that makes them applicable is their sound pressure levels over distance. Being a line array, um, they're only nine decibels down over a 40 foot distance. I'm actually sitting about four or five feet from my line array speaker now, and this, this call is not blowing me away, yet I can walk 20 feet across my shop and still listen comfortably with these speakers. So the, we found that these line arrays at the front end of the room are just a phenomenal piece of this solution. And again, we have tabletop microphones, and we announced last week the new wireless solution mics that are available for Odessia as well. But this is the base audio portion that is part of this fantastic solution. So let's take a closer look at that seamless setup. When you connect everything together, we find all the devices automatically. Again, you don't have to be an audio engineer to get world-class audio out of, these, out of these rooms. This is a quick look at the screenshots you see in that GUI. And it is literally five mouse clicks from when you go into that GUI to when you're finished with the auto-tune and the room is ready to go. So that's really kind of nice on the IT side. This system is no more difficult to set up and manage than an IP camera. So automating the audio portion of it within this Lenovo Avia, uh, um, um, Aver bundle, excuse me, a little tongue tied there, uh, a Yamaha bundle is, is really what makes this nice. My solution I have here, and we're gonna be doing demos with this solution. Uh, I was just amazed how simple it was to plug this thing in and be on a call and have world-class audio out of this metal building I'm in in here. So what's unique about the mic itself? Well, I think there's two things that's really game-changing with the Yamaha solution. One is that auto-tuning and auto-routing capability of the processor, but the other is the microphones themselves. We took a long, hard look at the competition, and we actually generate with a spiral array of 64 elements multiple dynamic beams to have a beam on everyone who's participating in a dynamic conversation. So there's no configuration or setup to these. You don't log in and set up any pickup patterns. It's fully automated, right? Welcome to the 21st century. Literally, I can be 20 feet away and talking very, very low in here. And if you, anyone has seen the demos I've done in this space or would like to have one, please let us know. So the microphone itself is literally state of the art. It is designed specifically for conferencing. For example, this wouldn't work in a church or a house of worship with 20 people under it singing in a choir. It wouldn't capture all their voices. That's not what it does. We're putting targeted, 
beams that track human voices in these rooms to give state-of-the-art audio and a beautiful mix and blend that goes out to the far end. And again, they actually do that with a patented spiral array of the 64 elements. When you lift the grill, it almost looks like a random dispersion. Then you focus in closer, you go, ah, oh, it's a spiral array. It actually performs better than the competition with rings of mics or X-shaped arrays. So just the microphone itself in this solution is state-of-the-art. It also has active de-reverberation technology in the microphone itself. So as we see today's conference rooms move away from what we had in the industry as ANSI standards with about 25 to 30 dB of background noise in rooms, now we have corporate transparency and glass walls and, and architectural considerations really coming to the fore. And that puts a real demand on the audio. It's, I liken some of these rooms to the fishbowl sound, right? So anyway, Please know that Yamaha, along with that multiple beam technology, the voice tracking within the space, we also have active de-reverberation, which helps in these challenging rooms. Also available are the tabletop microphones. We won't cover the wireless. We'll be doing that in a future webinar. Those, uh, again, we just announced those last week. But these tabletop mics are phenomenal. It's actually what I'm using to talk to you on right now. I'm kind of lazy, and the nice thing about these is out of the box, automatically, they'll do this human voice activity detection and tracking. So if I'm sitting at this boardroom table at this position here at this chair and I start to speak, by default, this is the strategy the microphones will deploy to try to listen to me. They're going to put a cardioid pattern on me off of this microphone puck, and these will listen in this direction. And this is an amazing microphone. It really blew me away. There's actually four 90 degree elements under the hood of this thing. And with a click of a mouse, those four elements com combine to give you a classic Omnimic pickup pattern. We also have a toroid in case you have a fan or a noisy projector over the table. You still get that 360 degree pickup while rejecting directly above. We obviously have cardioid, hypercardioid, and supercardioid, directional audio, which is typically the go-to in conferencing applications. And there's this very cool bi-directional mode you can select as well, where it actually has this hourglass pickup, where you can put it down the center of a long table, and it covers both sides with directional audio. And keep in mind, both of these you can adjust between a wider cardioid and a more focused hyper and in between with the super cardioid as well. So out of the box, again, plug and play, set and forget. You connect these and don't even think about them, which is kind of what I did, because my mind moves around, so I didn't need to select any particular pattern on my table. Now the processor, this is really the heart of the system. Now we're using the USB interface in here to connect to the Lenovo core and to be part of this bundle, all plug and play. But there's also a full SIP interface in here. This could be a third-party SIP interface. There's line in and out, which we use to connect to traditional codecs if need be. There's also a Bluetooth interface in here. There's the Bluetooth pairing button right there. In addition to that, we have local reinforcement mics that can be added and participate on these calls as well. Think of a couple wireless clip-on presenter mics, a lectern, gooseneck mic, that sort of thing. So it's an extremely powerful and flexible, to Tyler's point, scalable. You have the base package here, but it can be expanded upon in numerous, numerous ways. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Carl with Aver. And um, yeah, thank you very much. No worries. Hello guys, my name is Carl Harville. I'm the Director of Product for Aver USA. And we're gonna go over the Campfire 20 Pro 2 camera. This is a camera that is uh, certified by Microsoft. And honestly, it is a very great uh, detailed camera in the sense for quality of image. Now it's a 1080p 60 frame per second camera. Uh, when you plug this one in with its USB cable, it will give you that uh, enterprise grade quality of cameras that everybody's used to from conference rooms. And so it's been designed for large conference rooms to medium conference rooms with a really wide field of view, an 84.5 degree field of view. It's actually a little bit wider now that we did retesting when we got it certified with Microsoft. But this camera will allow you to zoom in to about 60 feet away without any issue. If you notice, the zooming in capabilities and the movement movements of the uh, the gears inside is very smooth. Now you're able to set up presets with this camera and uh, allow them to zoom into whiteboards, conference rooms. But the best thing about this one is that it does have an auto uh, an auto framing feature in it, and so it will detect a body. 
Uh, if a single person goes into a conference room, it will allow you to uh, do basic tracking capabilities, but as soon as multiple people go into the conference room with this uh, feature turned on, it will do an automatic frame. And so it'll look at a body, um, whether the person is facing sideways, has a mask on, uh, it will do a people count and then frame up the image. Really great camera, it's plug and play. Uh, and the great thing about it is that this camera is probably one of the better ones to work with, with weird lighting situations. In other words, if there's uh, low lighting, uh, you know, different uh, background lights that kind of turn on. The image sensor on this camera does a really great job just adjusting to it automatically. So as uh, Tim mentioned, when he got his and plugged it in, everything was just plug and play. I mean, we do have PoE enabled within this, so you can use just a, a network cable for connectivity to power it up, but also it will allow you to get management to this camera as well. So uh, the camera does have a lot of advanced features in the sense of if you want to you know, flip the image, uh, adjust the image, and or use our virtual USB streaming functionality with it, which is a pretty nifty little uh, uh, feature. Um, the camera has a lot of great uh, functions that are all on the firmware itself. So there's no real need for uh, loading a separate application to uh, get to the functions of it it will do everything on its system on a chip or the SOC chip uh, in itself. Uh, but with that, if you have you know, hundreds of these deployed out within your enterprise, we do have group uh, device management that allows you to not only upgrade firmware, load profiles, uh, do everything from a single pane of glass and just get, it, get everything done from your uh, firmware office and not have to plug into every camera individually. But with that, it's a very simple and easy to use camera. That's all I have. Love it, simple and easy to use. Hi, I'm Joshua Peterson. I'm part of the technical consulting team of Lenovo Smart Collaboration Group. And as the number one PC manufacturer in the world, Lenovo is really standing on the three pillars of reliability, manageability, and security. And we're taking that to the conference room now as more meeting spaces are driven by these software-defined environments from Microsoft and Zoom and even Google. So with regard to reliability, all of our products are set up for our three-year standard warranty, and that includes Premier Support. And I'll give you the speeds and feeds slide there for you to take in. And I'm not going to read off that because that's not the most exciting thing to have happen uh, here with the speeds and feeds side of it, but we'll take a closer look at some of the I.O. there in just a second. So with this, you have the reliability of Lenovo, you have the trust and support of Lenovo, and from a manageability perspective, we also have a software application that allows you to remotely manage and monitor these devices. And then from a security perspective, these are all running Win10 IoT on Intel chipsets, and that's the IoT enterprise side that includes a number of different security features and functions and a hardening down of these solutions so that they are a kiosk-based application. Uh, you see these as a solution and not as a compute. So they're managed differently than an end-user device, and that gives you the ability to uh, create very powerful user experiences that are very, very, very consistent. So the core compute is what you're looking at on screen and the back garage door flips up to reveal the cable management and those are all secured and those cable management uh, options are uh, interchangeable if you have larger cables, smaller cables, it'll take all of those there are different inserts that you can use, but when you close that down and lock it down there are no user accessible USB connections for that. And that allows you to protect the connections here, which means that the rooms are staying up more often because nobody's looking for a way to charge their phone. Uh, so with that, you've got uh, on the far left, you've got your controller connection, and that's a USB-C connection that goes directly to the controller. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, next to that, you see other USB devices. Sometimes you have the need for a keyboard and mouse during a deeper configuration level. You can certainly plug those in there. We have a pair of HDMI outputs to support dual display environments, as well as an HDMI ingest on the right-hand side. And then a network connection USB-C and two other USB connections that are intended for connecting up to the Yamaha solution and the Aver solution. So it's a really clean layout in the back and they're very easy to get at. It's very easy to deploy. That cable garage door goes right back down. There's a, a security screw that's available for that. So you can lock that down and make sure nobody tampers with that. It includes VESA mounting brackets as well. So you have a variety of wall mounting or behind display or under table mounting options and that all comes with it. So let's take a look, closer look at the controller now. 
And the controller is really interesting. We've got a, a sensor in there that allows it to reorient in a steep mode, as you see it here. Or if you prefer to have it on a shallow mode, you can actually tip it over and it'll reorient the display. And that user interface will be a little bit more accessible there. And that's really helpful in environments where you're a single person in a smaller room and you want to lay that tablet controller down to have a better face-to-face -face conversation. So things like that are available on the controller as well as IR sensors to automate that system wake and system sleep. And so this is all automated. And that's really the value of what the controller is. This controller is the heart of why these rooms are so popular. It's a consistent UI across all room types. This can be a global rollout. This could be a, a smaller rollout. It's relevant for small to medium businesses all the way up to enterprise grade solutions. And that UI stays consistent. So a user can walk into one location and walk into another location and I'm presented with the same user interface. And that allows for productivity and adoption. And that's really powerful, particularly as the office becomes a place to gather and not a place to park. Uh, so it's not, it's not necessarily something we're going to uh, really have as much time in the office in the future as we had pre-pandemic. And so when you go back, consistency and repeatability and that ease of use, that one touch join becomes even more important, especially as we consider these solutions are really an extension of our daily workflows. If we're in a Microsoft environment and we're using Microsoft Teams, it's very natural to have that flow all the way through to the conference room. Same thing for Zoom, if you're using Zoom as your primary UC provider. Same thing for those that are in the Google workspace. Um, and that's kind of a, a tangent of a conversation, but again, the same solutions hold true. And that's really what's important about here. And so while the hardware and the UI is great, what about manageability? Let's take a look at ThinkSmart Manager and talk a little bit about what's on that. So ThinkSmart Manager is powered by the fact that all of our systems are um, Intel chipsets, which include things like Intel vPro. And that's a very powerful feature that gives us some very uh, powerful access to those devices in a very secure fashion. So not only can we do the basics of proactive maintenance and monitoring and all of those fun things, you know, we really want to make sure that IT teams that are being burdened with increasing technologies to support a post-pandemic reality, as well as the increase in the number of rooms they're supporting because we're enabling more rooms to be capable of this, what we're seeing is those IT teams aren't growing at that same rate. So we want to make sure that we're providing appropriate tools to allow those teams, whether they grow large or stay the same, or uh, whatever happens in that environment, we want to make sure those teams have appropriate tools so that they don't have to physically roll a truck or get on site or get somebody in the room to physically perform a change. So with Think Smart Manager, we're able to um, we're able to actually uh, see what's happening on the device from a notifications perspective. That team gets notifications of whether or not something has been disconnected. Let's say uh, we have uh, some uh, scenario where a cable does get damaged somehow. Uh, we'll be able to proactively notify that team instead of getting that angry phone call from the end user in the room who can't use the room. Uh, those are the basics. And we can get in deeper in white glove assist meetings by seeing what's on the control tablet and helping folks understand that uh, for example, in some of the recent MTRs, uh, we've seen that present button move to a secondary page. And so helping users understand where that is. And to that end, you could open up PowerShell or command prompt at the admin level on the device and actually change that policy so that present button moves back to that main page. So there's a number of things that you can do with Think Smart Manager, and there's a much deeper conversation we can have about this, but the overall uh, premise here is that we wanna make sure that not only are these rooms easy to deploy, they're easy to live with. And to that, I'll turn that back over to Yamaha to round out the options. Yeah, thank you, Joshua. Sorry about my fat fingers there. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Tyler can jump in here too whenever he likes, but these are the uh, bundle options. We have the ceiling option with our, our ceiling microphone solution and the tabletop uh, solution. And again, keep in mind the capacity of this system. We can support up to four microphones with that processor if they're ceiling mics and up to 14 total of the table mics. But these are the bundles that we have uh, for this solution. Tyler, do you have anything to add here before we uh, throw it open to some q &A and maybe flesh out some of the other questions we have? Uh, I would like to first off thank you gentlemen for the breakdown of this um, hybrid room ready bundle. And uh, we can take any questions that are here at this time. Everybody else, feel free to type in your questions and we'll take them as they come in. But I wanna thank you guys for joining us and uh, let's get it. We've got some questions right away. So how can I share content from my laptop with all this setup? 
You're muted, Joshua. There is the mute button. There Boy, if only there was an automation for that. <laughs> um, so sharing your laptop con uh, content in a room of this, uh, the HDMI connection is available for that. Alternatively, you can also co-join the meeting, uh, which is recommended in certain scenarios and not recommended in others. We can talk deeper about that. But you can co-join that meeting and share wirelessly from your laptop in that. Uh, just make sure your microphones and speakers are muted before you do that. Uh, so the HDMI cable for one or wireless by joining the meeting. And that's great. You know, that that just adds to uh, uh, another fantastic point of that scalability, the versatility and compatibility. Um, so thank you for the answer there, Joshua. What is lead time on bundles? To my knowledge, they are available. So reach out to your Lenovo, Aver or Yamaha UC rep for a demo and to learn uh, where to grab that. We are selling this specifically through Synex. So that is the distributor who has this bundle and they have the components at this time. All right, some more questions coming in here. We have Jonathan um, chiming in there as well. Uh, just to call it out, the large room bundles are available today. So if you like yes. what you saw. Yes, these yeah. solutions are available today. Yeah, we are, we are not having any supply chain issues on these bundles at all. That is correct. Perfect. Uh, is this Aver camera will attract participants when taking a word during a meeting with 200 participants in two large room meeting? So the, the camera in itself does um, automatic framing and basic tracking when only a single participant is in the conference room. Um, this, uh, this camera kind of, uh, you know, as soon as multiple people walk into the camera, I mean, walk into the conference room, then it'll do an automatic framing. So the, the camera in itself does not do any uh, voice tracking, um, but that is something that we've been working with uh, Yamaha with and are integrating the camera to pull APIs to where it could recall presets based upon which microphone is uh, being activated. So uh, kind of jumping on to the other question that uh, I see in the, uh, in the, uh, the lineup there, but uh, there is some synergy happening right now, and we look forward to uh, enabling the, um, the, the link between the uh, Odessia system and the Aver camera, I would say within the next couple of months. It's yeah. coming very soon. That is on the roadmap for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, here's one. Are the support options for the equipment bundled also? <clears throat> yeah, that's correct. So that with the correct. bundle, yeah, yep. Uh, Tyler, did you want to take that one? Either no, way. go ahead, Joshua. No. Yeah. You. Yep. So with the bundle, the first call goes to Lenovo. And again, this is all bundled together. And that first call goes to Lenovo. And then from there, if there is additional support that's required, we'll certainly work that through uh, on your behalf. So that's the, the way the support option works. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, will this also be certified for Zoom? I Aver, Aver cameras that, are <laughs> there. You go. It's so, coming soon. Uh, J JJ said coming soon. So be on so, the lookout for that. Skip. You guys will be the first to know. So on the on the Yamaha portions uh, of the solution, we are fully team certified, and we were almost complete with the Zoom certification. So soon. On the way. Uh, do you have options for mic bundles available for portable solutions? Do we have options for mic bundles available for portable solutions? So yes, the scalability of this system lets you add in microphones as you would choose. You would start out and if you want to go in a large room and need more ceiling mics or you want to add a table mic, it is just so simple. You plug it onto the switch, it powers up, you go back into that web UI on the RMCR processor. There's your there's your mic, a couple mouse clicks, you add it back in and you're and you're good to go. So it is very scalable. As far as the portability, um, from my experience with this system, when I got it in-house here, I think, yes, this could be very easily set up uh, with some portability. The limitation here would be the line array speakers. They're, they're, uh, um, they are available for a tripod mount, and there's an articulating bracket for vaulted ceiling applications as well. I think, but that would be kind of the limiting, uh, the, the limiting aspect of it for me. The tabletop solution could certainly be a very nice mobile solution, but again, the ceiling mics, uh, do need to be installed. The, those are not uh, uh, real easy to move around. So, you know, yeah, maybe the tabletop solution could be applicable to something mobile. I can see that. Yep. 
Uh, can this setup be incorporated with control systems like Crestron? Absolutely. Yeah. So second page control is something Lenovo supports. There are tie-ins with Extron, Crestron, and the others as well to make that possible. Uh, that does require additional configurations outside the scope of the bundle, but yes, it's possible. Same here. The Yamaha solutions are all fully supportable with an API for third-party control. Pretty much anything you can do in the GUI can be done from a third-party control system. There you go. And uh, what type of DSP is required or suggested for the Yamaha mic? So here's the beautiful part of this solution. Um, the actual DSP is housed within the microphones themselves. That RMCR processor box, if you look at my camera, there's my system right there. That processor really just facilitates the routing, the auto discovery, lets you flavor equalization on top of your interfaces. It is a super simple GUI once you get in there. But these microphones house the DSP within the mics themselves. They can be used as standalone Dante mics, in fact. Uh, the echo cancellation, de-reverberation, noise suppression, auto tracking is all within the microphone itself. Uh, one last here. Can the camera auto track individual speakers? Um, it can um, with uh, a single person into a conference room. Um, so, you know, similar to, uh, uh, I guess you could say my camera that I have now, if I were to you know, get up and move around, it will automatically track me and uh, adjust with me. Now, uh, if, like I said, multiple people came into the room, it's gonna frame it, then it's gonna stay there. Uh, but we do look forward to implementing the uh, voice tracking capability from within the Yamaha solution itself. And that's coming very shortly. Yes, our teams are working together on that right now, folks. So uh, check back in this channel. We, uh, uh, that, that, that will be something that'll be fleshed out. Yeah, that is <clears throat> on its way. With your tools, is it possible to handle hybrid meeting integrating with interpretation in multi-languages, French, English, or Portuguese? That's a Joshua question. Uh, I, I can speak to it from that vantage point. Uh, so really, that's going to be a feature or function of the UC platform you're using. So if Microsoft supports that in the Teams room environment or if Zoom room supports that in the Zoom environment, that certainly would be a feature that would be accessible. Um, whether or not there are specific requirements around their AI that's processing that, uh, that would be something to dig into a little bit further. But a starting point would be to work with the UC vendor. Perfect. Thank you very much, Joshua. Um, that is it on the questions. So if there are no more questions, I would like to thank everybody for joining. Uh, as JJ has written in the chat here and we have stated, um, you can grab this through Synex. They are available now. We do have stock and we are extremely excited about getting this out there. Tyler, um, it's flex work in hybrid environments. Yes, Tim. Tyler, would you tell folks about the demonstrations? Yes, that is a great point. And if you would love to see these three in action live on a demo, I am going to put in a link to the demo page here for you guys to fill out. And you can meet with somebody from Lenovo, Aver, or Yamaha UC to see this in action. Uh, I will let Dion say his final words, and I will put that link in the chat. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate it. I'd like to thank our attendees for joining us on today's webinar, Hybrid Room Ready Solution. Three is better than one. This recording will be available on the Avixa website, avixa.org forward slash webinars within about seven business days and your half of renewal unit will be applied to those transcripts within those seven days. If you have any trouble, please just contact my team directly at webinars at evixa.org. A side note for uh, CTS holders, if you've registered for the webinar with an email address other than the one that's on file for you, you won't get credit for attending because we won't know where to find you. Uh, this can be fixed on the back end. Just email your account rep and let them know what you've done, and then we'll get it fixed pretty easily. So uh, thank you to today's sponsor, Yamaha, and a huge thank you to our presenters for helping us to understand how three is better than one for hybrid rooms. We hope you've enjoyed this. Please stay safe and make it a great day, everyone.